hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math uh, my name is varakumar today we are going to solve problem from exercise 11.2 third problem uh, see here what he is asking evaluate sin 60 cos 30 plus sin 30 cos 60 what is the value of sin of 60 plus 30 what can you conclude so he is asking to find as sin 60 cos 30 plus sin 30 cos 60 so just we have to recall the value sin 60 is root 3 by 2 cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 cos 60 is also 1 by 2 so now we have to substitute so sin 60 so sin 60 is a root 3 by 2 so just we have to write the value root 3 by 2 into uh, cos 30 value is also root 3 by 2 so just again we have to write root 3 by 2 plus sin 30 value is 1 by 2 so we have to write 1 by 2 into cos 60 value is also 1 by 2 so write 1 by 2 so just we have substituted the value so so see here root 3 into root 3 is a 3 by 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 into 1 is 1 by 2 into 2 is 4 so here at uh, root 3 into root 3 is 3 2 into 2 is 4 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 so now the denominators are same we can add the numerators it is a 3 plus 1 by 4 so 3 plus 1 by 4 is 4 by 4 4 by 4 is equal to 1 so now we got sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 is equal to 1. So next, uh, what is the value of sin of 60 plus 30? So see here, uh, sin of 60 plus 30 is equal to. So now we can add these two. Sin of 60 plus 30 can be written as uh, sin of 90. So here uh, 60 plus 30 is how much? 60 degrees plus 30 degrees we can add. So 60 degrees plus 30 degrees equal to 90 degrees. So sin 90 degrees equal to 1. So sin 90 degrees equal to 1. So once you observe sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 value is 1. In the same way sin of 60 plus 30 value is also 1. So what can you conclude he is asking therefore we can write sin of 60 plus 30 is equal to sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 therefore we can conclude that therefore therefore we can conclude that so this is the conclusion we have to write therefore when we can conclude that sin of 60 plus 30 degrees is equal to sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60. So this is the third problem in x is 11.2. Next we have to solve fourth problem. Uh, this is fourth problem from x is 11.2. Uh, see here what he is asking. Is it right to say that cos of 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to cos 60 cos 30 minus sin 60 sin 30 so he is asking whether it is right or not so how can we say first we have to find the value of lhs and the value of rhs if lhs is equal to rhs we can say it is right otherwise we can we can say it is not right so just we have to find the values of lhs and rhs by substituting the values so here LHS is cos of 60 plus 30. So cos of 60 plus 30 is equal to just we have to add the angles. 60 plus 30 is 90. So cos 90 value is 0. Cos 90 value is 0. So let it is equation number 1. So next we have to take RHS. So RHS is equal to uh, cos 16 to cos 30. So 
So this is RHS cos 16 to cos 30 minus sin 16 to sin 30. So again we have to substitute the values. Cos 60 is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus sin 60 is root 3 by 2, sin 30 is 1 by 2. So we have to substitute the values. So cos 60 is 1 by 2 into cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 minus sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 into sin 30 value is 1 by 2. So just we have substituted. So multiply the numerators and the denominator. So here 1 into root 3 is root 3 by 2 into 2 is 4 minus here also root 3 into 1 is root 3 by 2 into 2 is 4. So root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4. So we can get a 0 again. So here uh, from 1 and 2 LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore it is right to say therefore from e from equations 1 and 2 LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore we can write that uh, so therefore we can write uh, it is right to say that uh, cos, si cos of 60 plus 30 is equal to cos 60 cos 30 minus sin 60 sin 30. So this is a fourth problem in exercise 11.2. So that's all today's class. Uh, we learned fifth problem in the next class. Thanks for watching.